But certainly the currency market is impressed. You see that in the euro action. It is plunging past 114. We're at levels we haven't seen since back in 2003. And this is even after a 16% move lower in the currency in the last seven months on expectations that QE from Europe was coming. So even if Draghi won't say it, that is the desired effect. That weaker euro certainly helps exports and boosts economic growth. And this is what a currency war looks like. It's not just Europe, Denmark, Canada, Peru, Switzerland, India, all of these countries' central banks in the last week alone have cut interest rates and taken unprecedented dramatic steps to ease policy, whether it's to fight super low inflation, driven lower by lower oil prices, weaken their currencies. Everybody wants a weak currency, and that fuels export growth, something people, countries are desperately in search of. The problem is, Somebody is a loser, and currently that is the United States. The U.S. dollar is at multi-year highs, and it's hurting American companies that do a lot of business abroad. Everyone from Amex to Johnson and Johnson, we've already seen it in the earnings. Expect a lot more of that in the coming weeks. So, will the U.S. fight back? For the moment, no. The U.S. economy is doing pretty well. The Fed says it's not too worried about what's happening overseas and the U.S. dollar. If you add it all up. Stock markets love this currency war, more QE, easier policy. In the longer term, though, as one trader told me, Sue, that book has not been written. We can look back to the 1930s where countries were sort of doing this. Absolutely. It exacerbated the Great Depression. It sure did. It yeah. created a lot of business uncertainty, trade barriers, trade tensions. Nobody benefited. That's the longer term worry. But for now, you don't see that in the markets. It's party on.